Tschüss. Good morning. Welcome to Full Circle Ozarks. Well, today is the day. I'm actually happy now. This eyesore is going to go away. So we got the truck backing up here. They're going to get a hold of this and t take it out off the property. Hey guys, so you guys saw the other day when we had the Connex removed and we were so glad to get that out of here. Um, they're great for storage, but they're not aesthetically pleasing to the eye. So I was I was glad to get it gone. You know that, that Connex was a 45 foot high cube. So that means it was like nine, a little over nine feet tall. You can put a lot of stuff in that. There was a lot of stuff and I don't, did I have anything in there? You had a couple of things. <laughs> I got my shop kind of full again, but the, that's a, that, that's going to be another video at some point when I <laughs> yeah. start organizing the yeah. shop again. So, so now we just need, need to kind of clean this up and get. Oh, I've got an idea of what we could do with it. Okay, so let's hear it. I think we should put some raised beds there. So we have cedar logs laying out there in the field. Why don't you just make me some? Okay, I, I like that idea. If you yeah. notice also in the background, just right above the uh, transformer, we have a uh, water spigot there and be close by. That's an excellent idea to put some raised beds here. I kind of like to maybe have some lettuce and some carrots and, and I don't know. See, I want to, and we need to do this straight away. I want to plant some potatoes because it's time for them. Now, a lot of the stuff, we probably wouldn't plant for another few weeks, but because we're having such an early spring and a warm spring, I think I'm gonna chance going ahead and like you said, carrots and lettuce, cucumbers. We won't put the tomatoes out yet. We'll wait on those a bit. Um, and the potatoes, I definitely want the potatoes. So, I'm excited now. I tell you what, let me go grab the tractor. I need to make a couple of passes here and kind of get this cleaned up. And uh, then I'll go grab some logs and we'll head down to the sawmill. Stay tuned. So while he's going to get the tractor, I have another idea. So right there is like a flower bed area. Yep, he doesn't know it, but we're going to do that next. We're going to get that all cleaned up, and I'm going to plant my beautiful roses and my grandmother's peonies.
that back drag and done exactly what I wanted it to do. I'm going to go up there, take my bucket off, put my grapple on, and go get some cedar logs. set the log on the mill just yet I've got to uh, put a new blade on I've showed that before so I want to take it take a moment to put a new blade on get the mill ready
going to take a minute and give you a good view of what this here looks like. That is some beautiful wood. Let me get it brushed off. And we'll get you up here close. I want you to look how pretty this, this cedar oh, here is now. So pretty. And I'm going to bring one of these other boards over that we just milled. Ain't that pretty? Yeah, it is. So, so this is going to be what we're going to use to make those raised gardens. Raised garden, garden beds. beds. Raised yeah. garden beds. So. Yep. Anyway, we're going to we're going to continue milling. <laughs> Got a, I have a knot over here on this side. I've got to take an ax or a saw and trim this up and then uh, I'll finish sawing it. Well, that went pretty good. I hit a, hit a knot there. Just a little limb sticking out about a quarter of an inch I had to cut off. I got that cut off and I was able to finish the cut. That's some pretty wood, isn't it? It is so pretty, and it just smells so good. Yeah. Let me bring the camera around so, so I can show you what it's looking like. Let's see here. We got three really nice one befores, I think is what we uh -huh. got them. And uh, they're like eight foot long. So, and that gives us enough lumber to start on our first. To start on the first uh, raised garden bed. First raised garden bed. So yeah. we're going to get these loaded on the tractor and then I want you to meet us up where we're going to be building this at. So hang around. We'll be right back. Oh, I got a question though. Okay. What kind of shirt do I have on? You know, <laughs> it's kind of a funny shirt actually. It's not funny. It's yeah. wonderful. All over the world, right? Well, at church <laughs> the other night, one of our friends walked up and said, "You are wearing a worldly church or shirt into the church." <laughs> we
we all chuckled. She was just yeah. having some fun. But it's all the places on my shirts where I'm going to travel to. <sighs> Is it? You got some travel plans, do you? I do. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll be back with you in a moment. As we get ready to build this, I just wanted to tell you, I don't have a plan other than just, I got it in my head. I know what material I have. So, <laughs> cotton top. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, this uh, four by four here, it's a leftover that I had when I built the chicken coop. I'm gonna take and measure that in four equal pieces. And then uh, that will be the corners. I'll screw everything to. And uh, once I get all the boards on it get the height that i want then i'll trim the top off so let's start by getting that okay measured out this is slide this out about right here on the edge okay 109 divided by four four going to 10 two times 29 mm, 27 with two inches left over at 27 inches let me make sure. Our goal, our goal was to have it at probably two feet, but we'll see. It's not fair for me to, being over there working and got my back to you and you can't see what I'm doing. So let's see if this is gonna be any better. Perfect. Do y'all like that any better? <laughs> okay, we're gonna... Extend it out right there and I'll cut it here okay. and we'll slide it out. Okay. Got to take the lens off. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this saw started if I can find the pull cord on it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is my, for those that may be new to the channel, this is my 60 volt DeWalt chainsaw. It's got a 20 inch bar on it and chain, so it makes it pretty nice. One down. Ready? Yep. Two down. I need to bring it out this way so I don't get the right like that. Ready? Mm-hmm. You have to kind of press down. I do not like sawdust. You don't like sawdust? I do not. I'm in the wrong. I don't business. think I don't think this is sawdust. What is it? You normally call it? Man glitter. Man glitter. Yeah. So. I don't know about that, but okay. I've got four posts. Okay. So now we need to see how long we're going to make it. Yep. All right. Now then, what I was just getting ready to ask, do you think we want to throw them up and down this way so we could put more? You would have to clear a little more of this off. Well, let's, let's look at, see what a six foot one would look like. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it would fit, but I don't want it just right on the grass because then the grass will. Yeah. So, I mean, just taking your box blade and yeah, we could do that. We could do that. But, you know, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, six foot by two foot? No, we need it bigger than two, especially for the potatoes because that's only like two. Can we go at least three foot wide? Three by six. And then... 
if I got enough lumber. Well, if you don't, there's. You, you know somebody people, that has. A, look around us. <laughs> you know someone that has a sawmill, do you? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> yes, and I know where there's lots of down cedar trees and standing cedar trees. So are we in agreement three by six? Yes. Three by six. Okay. Let's do it. You heard it and it's on video. So later on, once we get this thing built, if she changes her mind, it's not my fault. I don't own that one. <laughs> well, you, you kind of do because you convinced me. Did I? You did. Because <laughs> what was it I said I initially wanted them? I don't know. I don't remember. Listening. Four by eight. Four by eight. But that might be a little big. Yeah. It might not be as sturdy. Yeah. So, yeah. Three by six. Three by six. So okay. we're going. I'm in agreement. Okay. Let me open this grapple up so we can get these boards out a little bit easier. Are you going to leave them there? You know, I'm thinking I may just take a pause, go up, bring my saw horses down here and get right here. So I have a, a place to cut these by length, you know, for length. The metal ones or the wood ones? Probably the wood ones. Oh, okay. I started to say I'd go up and help you. We could just carry them, but <laughs> if they're wood ones. Okay. We'll be right back with you. I'm going to go get the saw horses. <laughs> Off camera, we had another discussion. We decided to make these five feet. The main reason we're making these based on the logs that we had available. And so we can get this one made. And uh, if we make it five feet, we have we have enough lumber to do the ends. ends. Yeah. So there's 60 there. That work okay? That worked perfect. They look short now, don't they? They'll be okay. That ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the nail girl. What color do you pick? Gold. <laughs> okay. I like it. Yep. So we're going to do this a bunch of times. But when we finish this one, we'll come back and show you the finished project. I think we done it. <sighs> we did it. Let me show you what, what we settled on. It is 23 inches high. 27 inches wide and 62 inches long. Good. We did good. So, that's perfect. That's going to yeah. be great. And uh, I think, uh, what you going to plan in it first? Well, first of all, I'm going to, we'll have to level the ground out just a little bit because it's a little wobbly. Uh, and then I'm going to put a few leaves and a few branches in the bottom and then get some uh, dirt that I will pick up that's already got some compost in it. And this one, I'm going to plant some potatoes in it. Potatoes? So, yeah. We, so, al we also need to get some uh, landscaping fabric to put on the ground. On the ground, yeah. So, And we're going to try to get the commercial kind, not the kind you get just like at your big box store and stuff. Something that will really hold. So. Um, we'll get that done and... And then you've got like five more to make. <laughs> we may run out of trees. I don't know. But anyway, we'll, we'll get some more of these made up. But folks, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoy this kind of content. Yes. Take yes. care. God bless. And we'll see you again on the next Full Circle Ozarks. Bye. Bye-bye.